Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jessica. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe this video. I'm so excited that you checked this out. So in today's video, this is going to be my vegan in Portland video. <laughs> I recently traveled to Portland, Oregon, and it was absolutely amazing. I went by myself. Um, I'm from Boston, if you didn't know that already. Boston, Mass. What up? <laughs> um, and I went to actually visit my family for a few days. I was only there for three days. So, long ways to travel for only three days, I know. But it was totally worth it. No regrets. In fact, I am so incredibly happy that I did it because I discovered so many amazing foods. You have no idea. So, Portland, Oregon is kind of known as the vegan city and the craft beer city. Everywhere you go, you can get some sort of craft beer. Any cafe, any bookstore, any anything. Like, it's, it's crazy. So, um, when I was there, pretty much all I did for three days while my family was at work all day was just go to all these different restaurants that I've heard so much about on the internet. And I am so incredibly happy that I did that. I just kind of just Ubered and lifted everywhere and it worked out perfectly. So um, I actually stayed in Vancouver at my um, aunt's house and it, it's just such a nice place. The air quality, if you're from the East Coast, is completely different in Portland and Vancouver, Washington. It is just completely different. So much better. So much better. Um, because of all the trees and everything is just like so open and natural and it's just great. So, um, basically I'm going to take you through where I ate and what I got when I ate at those restaurants. And I'm going to kind of insert pictures I have from my phone into this video because I, did, I didn't want to bring my camera uh, with me across the country um, traveling alone. I didn't really feel safe doing that because I'm already very uncomfortable vlogging in public at this point. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm still very, very new to this whole YouTube thing. Um, I'm almost a year old, but still new for vlogging for me. I gotta get comfortable with that, I know. But I'm gonna start with um, being comfortable with my surroundings around my area that I live in here. So I'll start there and then I'll start traveling and vlogging and stuff like that. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna insert pictures from my phone. So let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, so the first restaurant I went to was in Portland. It was called By and By, and it's known to be one of Portland's best vegan restaurants because I googled like best vegan restaurants in Portland, and I kind of went off that. Um, I didn't go to all the top ones. I kind of picked ones that were like underrated. I feel like like completely underrated, and I'll get into that in like in a little while, but. Um, yeah, so I went to buy and buy and I got their cornmeal. I'm going to read it off the website just so you know exactly what it was. The cornmeal breaded tempeh sandwich. Uh, it was $9. Great price. Um, cornmeal breaded tempeh, remoulade, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, avocado, tomato, pickled onions, and arugula on a grand central ciabatta roll served with chips and salsa. Oh my god, it was insanely good. Like, insanely good. I wish that I could make things this good at my house. I wish I was that talented. <laughs> but I'm not. Um, so when I went there, I was just blown away. That was my first vegan meal that I had in Portland, and I could not. It's on like a um, really artsy street in Portland. Um, a ton of like vegan vibes, hippie vibes. I walked that entire street up and down. Um, let me try to remember the name of the street. Alberta Street. Alberta Street is one of the like hippiest streets in Portland. It's very well known and I would highly recommend going there because there's a ton of shops to check out. Um, there's a ton of restaurants, a billion food trucks with bomb ass food apparently I read online. So um, I know that there were a couple vegan 
uh, food trucks there, but obviously I'd already ate, so I didn't check them out. But so cool. Uh, Portland is huge on food trucks, and it was just such like a great experience overall. So I was just walking around the street all day, like my headphones in, and it was great. And I went after that, like I had a, oh yeah, and I had a beer with that meal because like I'm obsessed with craft beer. It's just like a thing, like I just love trying like new craft beers. So the fact that this was a vegan city and a craft beer city, it's my city. <laughs> um, so I got the Samuel Smith's Nut Brown Ale. And you can see it in that picture as well. It was so friggin' good. It tasted like fall. Like, literally tasted like fall. It was amazing. Like, I wish I had a beer around here that tasted like fall. Um, yeah, it was insane. It was so good. So, highly recommend that beer if you go there also. Um, and I picked a great time to go to Portland. I picked to go there in the fall. And the, um, the scenery was great. Um, I ended up seeing a volcano, like, across the bridge going back and forth from Vancouver to Portland. So cool. But, like, the fall foliage was, like, insane in Portland because of all the trees. And I got, like, a magnet that kind of showed that because I got to get a magnet for everywhere I travel to. And um, it had, like, fall foliage on it with Portland. And it was, it was really cute. So, moving on. <laughs> um, the next place I went to, which was also on Alberta Street... Um, and I kind of, I picked Alberta Street because there was, like, a lot of places on Alberta Street that were, um, on that Best Places to Eat in, uh, Portland, if you're a vegan website. I went to Back to Eden Bakery, and I got a, like, chocolate root beer donut, and it was too friggin' die for. Apparently Back to Eden Bakery in Portland is one of the top vegan bakeries in the world and I can honestly say like that was just a donut. Like that that is like a regular donut. It does not taste any different. If anything it tasted so much richer than any donut I have ever had in my life. Like the chocolate was just insane and the root beer like touch to it was so good just because like I don't drink soda anymore but when I used to drink soda like when I used to literally be addicted to soda my favorite was root beer always um but I'm not gonna lie I feel like I would get a root beer float like once a year <laughs> so um yeah um it was so friggin good and the place was so cute everyone everyone in Portland is so friendly and so nice and everyone in Boston is just like Ew, like, don't talk to me. Like, they're so rude. They're literally, like, I feel like mass holes. And I can say that because I live here. So, yeah. Um, and I also got a craft beer with that donut as well. Because, you know, you got to try every craft beer when you go to a craft beer city. So, I got the uh, Wild Craft Cider Works Imperial Homestead Hopped uh, Stout. And... Uh, hard cider sorry and it was like the strongest cider like hard cider I have ever seen in my life um, I forget what percent it was exactly I don't know if it says on this bottle 8% alcohol I'm sorry what usually that's like like my favorite beers are usually 8% I don't know I love IPAs that's my thing um, but a hard cider being 8% I that's crazy to me, just because they don't have that, like, around here that I know of. So, um, yeah, it was just extra cute, and I highly recommend that bakery. It was so, so good. After that, I kind of just walked around, and um, I just saw, like, cool little things. Um, there's so many, like, hippie stuff. Like, there's a bunch of, like, recreational marijuana shops and just, like, um, incense shops, which are my thing. Um, I was looking for, like, a crystal shop, but I didn't see any on Alberta Street. And I didn't really have time to, like, look around. But I feel like I missed it because I feel like there should or would have been a crystal shop on that street. But anyways, um, then after that, I went to the 
um, Chinese rose garden, the Japanese rose gardens, and it literally took my breath away. The amount of roses, the smell, I have never breathed in fresher air than at those gardens ever in my entire life. I don't think I've breathed real air until that moment, honestly. I'm probably not even breathing real air right now, like, honestly. But yeah, it was just like incredible and I highly recommend you check out the Japanese rose gardens. We couldn't go in the actual like Japanese gardens because apparently they uh, switched over to their fall or winter schedule or whatever and they close at 5 and we went at 6 so I only got to see the rose gardens but that was like enough for me like they were so incredible every rose you could possibly imagine uh, was there and they all had like different scents some were sweeter some were spicier some were just it was it was incredible it was awesome and you got a great view of Portland as well from there because it was kind of up on a huge hill overlooking the city. It was so cool. Um, so I went there with my aunt. Shout out to Auntie Judy for taking me there. <laughs> um, and then I went out to eat with um, my aunt my uh, and my two cousins. And we went to the Blossoming Lotus, which comes up as number one top vegan restaurant in Portland. Um, so I went there with them. It was my aunt's idea to actually go there. Like she had said it before I had even said it. And so I decided to get a thing of nachos for the table because nachos, let me tell you, were my thing before I was vegan. Like, yes. And I've had some bomb ass, uh, vegan nachos, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, so I got the live nachos. They were $13. Um, so kind, it's a little bit on the pricey side. It was just an appetizer. Um, I got, they had spicy live chips topped, topped with nacho cheese sauce, pecan chorizo, onion, tomatoes, scallion, avocado, cashew sour cream, and cilantro. The cashew sour cream was friggin' insane. Out of this world. And so was the nacho cheese. This um, is a completely vegan restaurant, by the way, just so you know. And so friggin' good. Like, they were, like, devoured. Literally devoured. So then I got, like, my actual plate, and I got... What did I get? I got tacos. I got the um, butternut squash tacos. They were $14. And I got the cumin roasted poblano and red peppers butternut squash, corn, cabbage slaw, pickled jalapeno onion, condimento, cashew sour cream again, and cilantro and soft corn corti uh, soft corn cor tortillas. Oh my god, why can't I say that right? So crazy. And they were absolutely insane. Insane. They were so freaking good. That me and my cousins went out to a bar across the street from there. I don't remember what it's called though. Oops. Um, really cool vibes though. Like multiple levels. It was so cool. Um, what else? There were so many murals in Portland. It was like insane. Such cool uh, murals. I'll post some above like so you can see them. Um, just so incredibly artsy and there were a lot of quotes that were very positive, uplifting, and touching. And um, like this one for instance, it says, In this place we believe black lives matter, women's rights are human rights, no human is illegal, violence is real. I mean, sorry, <laughs> let me not say that. 
science is real, love is love, kindness is everything. And there were just like so many great quotes on the walls of buildings, huge signs, like it was just awesome. Such like a great feeling. You know that you're surrounded by good f people when you go there. Like it was, it was just so homey being there and I loved every second of it. So the next day I went to... Um, my favorite place by far, which was one of the underrated places I feel like on Google and I'm so glad that I chose this place over other ones. Like I'm sure the other ones were so good too, but like I am so glad that I stopped here because this is the place that I wanted to kind of promote the most because I was absolutely blown away by the food here and the people that worked there were so friendly and so kind. Um, the name of the place was Vitopia Cheese Shop, Cheese Shop and Deli, and it was unbelievable. So you can go in there and it's like a deli and you can order like your cheeses and your meats and whatever you want. Um, it's all vegan and, uh, it's also a restaurant and they have seating outside. You can bring your pet, whatever. It's so homey, so cute. So I decided to sit outside. It was a really nice day. I didn't even need a jacket. And I ordered the um, Reuben sandwich and their mac and cheese. Oh my God. Moment of silence for the mac and cheese. Unbelievable. Out of this world. I've never had better mac and cheese than that in my entire life, vegan and non-vegan, ever, ever. It was the best mac and cheese I have ever had. If you go there, it is a must-have. I think, I think if you go to Portland, you must go to Vitopia Cheese Shop in Delhi and get their mac and cheese because that is, like, I have been dreaming about it literally dreaming, having real dreams about it ever since I left Portland. I've never ever felt like that about a food before, ever. It was absolutely insane. And the sandwich was to die for. Literally tasted like a Reuben sandwich. And it came with a little salad on the side of it. It was really cute. And they have homemade dressings made out of different like um, vegan like dairy products so good the dressing the um the what type of dressing I got like a ranch dressing it was out of this world best ranch dressing vegan and non-vegan I've ever had um just incredible I mean look at the pictures guys like insane so I would highly highly recommend to go there because it was the food was it did not compare to some of the other places it just didn't <laughs> It really didn't. It was it was a wow factor for sure. For sure my favorite thing that I ate there was that mac and cheese. <laughs> Alright, so the next thing that I did, um, I Ubered from there and I went to the Chinese gardens. And sorry I keep like wiping my nose. Like I've I feel like I'm getting down with a cold and I really don't want to. Um, because I have a wedding to go to this weekend, but anyways. Um, yeah, so I went to the Chinese gardens, most peaceful place ever. So I've been there and I've been to the the Jetty, the Getty, I, I don't know, the Getty I guess, in Los Angeles. And that was the most peaceful place I have ever been in my life. And then there was a Hindu temple I went to in Malibu in California. That was uh, the second most peaceful place I have ever been to in my life. And then I went to the Chinese Gardens in Portland, and that was the third most peaceful place I have ever been to in my life. Um, and I was there for probably like four hours, literally four or five hours, and I did not want to leave. <laughs> it was that peaceful. I was just in my glory. And there's like, if you really, I feel like you have to like really be connected with, um, like, you really have to connect with what they want you to connect with in order f for you to have, like, a good time. Like, you can't just go there and just, like, look look and be like, oh, okay, like, I'm done here. Like, you actually have to really look at the stuff around you. Like, they, they had, like, different, sh like, a plant guide, and they had, like, lists of the different 
flowers to look for as you're walking around and stuff so I would just like and I love flowers and I love plants and I'm just into that type of stuff so that was like my thing and I was just like walking around like the garden trying to find like point out like the different flowers and match them up smell them and it was really cool so um that was awesome and I spent like a good like hour and a half doing that probably because there were so many different types of plants that you can only find in China and it was just so cool smelling them and being able to touch them and see them without being in China so um, from there I went to the um, they had a tea room in the gardens so I went there and I spent probably two hours there and I got like their like deluxe package where you um, they like teach you how to make tea with like loose leaf tea like their special Chinese tea and it was so relaxing I got that on video And I got their green tea because green tea is my absolute favorite type of tea over anything. I just love it. It's so pure and just feeds my soul, literally. So that was really, really cool. Then from there, it was my cousin's birthday. Shout out to Maddie. Um, we went out to eat uh, for her birthday. Went out for drinks too with uh, my cousin my other cousin. Shout out to Steven. What up? Um, and that was a blast. I got this Vortex IPA when I was out there and it was so good. Um, because me and my cousin Maddie are IPA peoples. Um, and she is the only other girl I know that likes IPAs. So if you're a girl and you like IPAs, you better leave a comment and let me know because I literally feel like I'm like the only person in the world who likes IPAs who's a girl. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, so really cute picture of the two of us right here. Um, that was the night, little Snapchat filter on there. Um, and then we went out for drinks after that and I, get, I got to meet my cousin Steven's fiance who was insanely nice and so cute and... I'm just so happy for them. <laughs> um, and we ordered like the best beer I think I've ever had in my life. And it was like 10% alcohol or 12% or something crazy. And it was just the best IPA I've ever had. <laughs> so I don't, I don't remember the name of it. So that's, that's great. But yeah, so good. I ordered, when I went to the Chinese gardens, I ordered this little, um, like vegan dish they had on their menu. I think it was like one of the only vegan dishes they had and it was really good. And then to end my trip on the third day I uh, flew out of Portland airport and went back to Boston but um, I got there early. I Ubered there early and because I wanted to get something to eat and they had um, a place called Elephant Delicacin or something like that. Elephant's Delicacin. Uh, something along those lines. And they had a bunch of vegan options. And it was awesome. I got uh, the Shelly's Vegan Wrap. And it was so friggin' good and filling. And if you're in the Portland airport, definitely go to like Flying Elephants or whatever it's called. Elephant Delicacin. Because it was so, so good. Um, and then I got like an iced tea. They had like homemade iced tea or whatever. So it was so good. And I'll like insert a picture of that wrap right there. It had like everything in it. It was insane. Really healthy for you too. Yeah, that was it. That completed my trip. 
and uh, what airline did I fly? I flew like a random airline and they were like one of the best airlines I've ever been on. I flew JetBlue from Boston to Portland but on the way home I flew Sun Country Airlines and it's a Minnesota based airline and um, it was one of the best airlines I've ever flown on. Like I had a better experience with them than I did with JetBlue. It was awesome. So definitely check them out too. So yeah, that, that sums up my Portland experience and my Portland trip. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had so much fun when I was there. And I really hope this is valuable to those that are traveling to Portland and um, want to try some new vegan food or are vegan or aren't vegan and they just want to eat great friggin' food. Um, like I said, definitely check out that Vitopia cheese shop in Delhi because they were to die for. And it's like a little like gem, I feel like, on the side of the road. Like you wouldn't really be in that area unless you were going there. It was, it was just great. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much. And if you don't already follow me, please hit the subscribe button and like this video. Comment on what videos you want to see in the future. And yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.